be seeing an unusual accomplishment here at the Coral Castle. Hi, this is Mary Michelle, and we're here today. It is the summer solstice, June 21st in the year 2000. It's a new millennium, and we're at a place that was created here in Florida in the 20th century, which I find very extraordinary. It was created by a little man called Edward Leedscallon. He weighed 97 pounds, and this entire place is several tons of coral that he carved and made this beautiful rock garden as he calls it, the Coral Castle. I think we should talk a little bit about the moon. You know, the moon is the thing which is in the gravity of the Earth's sphere, and the moon affects very much our daily influences in our lives. Obviously, Mr. Leedscallon thought it was important because he has the three phases of the moon that he's carved in coral here. It's really something. And when you think that the entire state of Florida is made out of coral, and coral at one time was a living creature, and that that living creature relied on the tides, then we're back to the idea of the moon. So I think that the moon figured very, very strongly, as did all of the planets, in Mr. Leedscallon's garden. I'm sitting on one of the moon sculptures, and I'm sitting right next to the Polaris telescope. If you see just above that little green sign, there's a tiny hole, which you probably can't see, but if you look directly through that hole up to the big hole, that is showing you the direct alignment to the star Polaris, which is also known as the North Star. It's the star that sailors use to navigate. And perhaps Mr. Leedscallon was thinking about the direction of due north when he was thinking about his Sweet Sixteen and their home in Latvia. Mr. Leedscallon wrote several pamphlets as to how exactly he manipulated these massive tons, as this one that's behind me, this door that you can literally push with one finger. Did he do it with magnetic currents? Some people have theorized perhaps it was solar energy. I really don't know how he could have possibly done it and defy the laws of gravity. I'm sitting here at a table that's in the shape of a heart. Now, hearts are symbols that have been used by mankind throughout history. We think of it as being a Valentine's Day. Perhaps it was a Valentine's to his sweet 16. But many, many cultures use the heart to symbolize many different parts of their emotional well-being. I'm sitting here at a table that was created exactly in the shape of the state of Florida. Lake Okeechobee is here in the middle. And where I'm sitting is exactly where the Coral Castle is, just south of Miami in a town called Homestead. Mr. Leedscallon hoped the people would come here, particularly the governor, and they could sit and talk about all the things that needed to be done and taken care of in the state of Florida. Well, it's been a long day at the Coral Castle, and now I think it's time to go to sleep. So I'm going to have a little lay down. Bye-bye.